Now guys, the main thing I want you to notice here is the tempo, all right? Look at the speed. Hey, I'm Mark McKillier with Live Anabolic, and today I got a really cool dumbbell workout for all you beginners. And I want you to stick around to the end because I have a really clever little trick I want to tell you guys that's going to help motivate you and it's really going to supercharge your workouts and it's going to make you far more likely to achieve your goals. So stick around. I think you're really going to like it. All right, so why do I have a picture of me up here? This is just to explain real quickly how I got into this. So I've been working out, training my whole life. I've been helping other people, training other people, but I just decided to do a competition. And this is a while back, but because of that, a modeling agency found me here in Austin, Texas. And because of that, a fitness company found me. And because of that, I'm here talking to you today. So guys, you can't plan your life necessarily, all right? <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen. So in my case, I decided, screw it. I've been working out my whole life. I needed something to motivate myself because I was just going to the gym and just kind of, you know, treading water. And I said, all right, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a contest. And the contest is what motivated me to push myself far harder than I ever had before. And I was able to get into this kind of shape. And because of that, well, you know the rest of the story. So anyway, I wanna transition now to the workout today for you beginners out there. And before we start with all different exercises and the form, I want to speak about dumbbells, just real, real quick. All right, so you guys can go out and buy pairs of dumbbells, individuals, like a pair of 10 pounders and a pair of 20s and a pair of 30s, and that's fine, okay? But you kind of, it starts to kind of add up and you start having dumbbells laying all over the place. I think if you're gonna do this, it's wise to just spend the money up front. It's not cheap, but get a pair of adjustable dumbbells, okay? There's lots of different types. I really like this brand, it's called Core. And what I mean by adjustable, let me show you here. So I just rotate the handle here and I just dial in the weight I want. So 25 pounds, I pick it up, that's 25 pounds. I wanna change it and I wanna go down, or let's say I wanna pick 15, that's 15 pounds. All right, change it down to 10. All right, so that is how easy it is to adjust these dumbbells anywhere from five pounds all the way up to 50 and five pound increments. So that is, these two pair right here is the equivalent of 10 sets of dumbbells. A pair of fives, a pair of tens, a pair of 15s, a pair of 20s, all the way up to 50s. So really compact, really quick and easy to change the weights, all right? So I know it's expensive, but you guys, this is an investment in your life, your health, okay? And it's a one-time investment. You don't have to do this every single month or every single year. These things are gonna last you for 10, 15, 20 years, all right? So without, without going into any more detail about the different brands, I wanna just transition over real quick to the workout itself, all right? I've broken this down into six different exercises. Remember, this is a full body workout, all right? We're not just targeting an individual muscle group, all right? And I think this is really good for beginners because you guys can do this workout two or three times a week. It's not gonna kill you. I'm not pushing you real, real hard. I only want you to do two sets of every exercise and I want you to do 15 reps of each exercise, okay? So that means six exercises times two sets, that's 12 total sets. You can knock that out in about 20 minutes, all right? But because of that, because you're not killing yourself, you're not gonna get overly sore, which means about two days later, you'll be able to do the same workout again. So kind of listen to your body, guys. If you're not getting real, real sore, you can actually do this like on a Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. Or if you're just too busy, maybe Monday and a Thursday, and then repeat it the next week. So let's start off with the very first muscle group, and that is our chest. So I picked an exercise called a chest press, all right? Now, that is a pretty strong muscle group. So you'll be able to do a fair amount of weight. Now guys, you're beginners, and this is a fantastic way for a beginner to start. We're gonna be laying on our back, and because of that, the floor is gonna limit how deep 
your arms can go. So you will not be able to overstretch your shoulders or your pecs, all right? So it's like the floor is spotting you, all right? When I go to the gym, if I'm doing a real heavy weight and really trying to push myself, I'll get a friend or a buddy to come over and actually spot me to make sure I don't hurt myself. So this is how you do it, guys. Get these dumbbells, set them up on their ends like this, all right? Lay down, and I like to put my feet flat on the floor, which means I'm gonna have a nice bend in my knees, all right? So all I'm gonna do is curl these dumbbells up, and now the entire weight is resting on my elbows right now, all right? So I'm, I don't have any stress on my pecs. All right, now from here on, we're gonna do 15 reps, and this is the form I want you to use. So control up and control the weight down. Now at the very bottom, I'm getting really close to my elbows touching the ground, but I'm not allowing the ground to stop the momentum of those dumbbells, all right? So it's my muscles that are changing the direction, all right? And guys, if you don't have a weight that's heavy enough, all right, for 15 reps, Let's say you get to the 15th rep and it's just, you're just shaking your head. This is way, 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 way too easy. The way to make it more difficult to, wait, to make that weight feel heavier than it really is, go down, don't touch the round, and count one, two, three, and then press back up. One, two, three, and press. And when you do that, you are making that dumbbell, which admittedly is too light for you, and it's too light because you don't have access, okay, <laughs> to a heavier dumbbell, let's say. So you're making it feel artificially heavier than it really is because you're adding a lot of time under tension, all right? So your chest is actually having to resist that weight while it's at the bottom of the movement for several seconds before you press it back up. Guys, 15 reps, all right? Give yourself about 60 seconds rest and then do a second set. So two sets of this exercise and then move on to exercise number two. Okay, exercise number two is targeting our shoulders. This is my absolute favorite exercise for my shoulders. And the reason I put it in here for you beginners is because the range of motion should not hurt most of you guys with bad shoulders. So I'm gonna put these dumbbells down real quick. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about here. So a military press is another great shoulder exercise. And you start here, and then you press the dumbbells up over your head. We'll see this range of motion, all right? So a lot of you guys out there with bad shoulders are gonna tell me, ah, oh, I can't do that, all right? That's why I picked lateral raises for beginners, all right? So you're not gonna be able to do a lot of weight, which is fine. We're gonna start with the dumbbells at our side, and I'm gonna focus on lifting my elbows, guys. So don't try to bring the handles up. Bring those elbows up and then your hands and the dumbbells will just follow along, okay? And your elbows only need to come up to about shoulder height. And if that bothers your shoulders, all right, come to here. So I want you to do 15 reps, all right, which means you're not gonna be able to do a lot of weight, guys. And don't sway, all right? See, I see people doing this at the gym. They bend over and then they use their back and they use momentum. Mm-mm, not getting a lot done there, so. Real strict form here, guys. Just stay nice and straight. And then the mind-muscle connection is, think about, I'm raising my elbows, okay? Raising my elbows, and then I'm controlling the weight on the way down. I'm not letting it fall back down. All right, so guys, you're gonna feel a fantastic burn in your shoulders. And that's that lactic acid building up. And of course, that's good, right? You've heard the old saying, no pain, no gain. Well, that's what everybody's talking about. So that lactic acid sends signals to your brain. It literally triggers your brain to ramp up production of testosterone because your body uses that to help repair those damaged muscle fibers, okay? It uses protein, testosterone, and a lot of other cool things going on inside your body to build those muscle fibers back up a little bit bigger and a little bit stronger several days later. And that's, of course, we do that over and over and over again for weeks and months, and that's why your muscles grow. Okay guys, exercise number three is gonna target our lower body. So the first two, okay, upper body exercises, we're gonna give our upper body a little rest, go down below here. So the best all around exercise you can do for your legs, 
or squats, okay? And the reason is, it's a compound exercise, which means, first of all, we're using multiple muscle groups at the same time, and secondly, we're using multiple joints at the same time. And so, just the nature of a squat incorporates so many things, okay, that that very fact also sends signals to our brain to ramp up production of testosterone. So that's why you hear me talk about in some of these other videos, all these compound exercises I like for you guys who do. It's a great way to increase your testosterone. And of course, that's a whole different video that I've shot multiple times talking about why testosterone is important, but this is one of the best things you can do. So I'm gonna show you all two different ways. Your beginners, I want you just to figure out, experiment with both, see which way works better for you. And a lot of times this has to do with if you have any injuries or if you're stiff or sore or something like that, it's gonna affect some guys differently. So, two different ways to do these squats. The first way, you just basically take a shoulder width stance, not very wide, okay? Dumbbells are hanging at my side. Now I want you guys to look forward the whole time, just bend and go down and then straight up. So try not to look down straight in front of your feet because you're you might bend over with your back and see how I kind of have a rounded cat back here? That puts extra stress on my back. So very first move, all right, to keep your back straight is stick your butt out, okay? All I did is stick my butt out and then I go straight down while looking forward, all right? Butt out, straight down. Butt out, straight down looking forward. All right, that's one way, okay? The other way is to get these dumbbells up here in front of yourself, okay? And I like to twist them like this so they're touching. I can take a wider stance now, okay? And I just, same thing, butt out, and I come down until my knees hit my thighs, and back up. Now notice, remember guys, I'm looking straight ahead. I just pick a spot on the wall, and I stare at that same spot throughout the entire range of motion, okay? So guys, neither way is necessarily better than the other, all right? Remember, we're targeting our legs. And when I say legs, let's think about this real quick. First of all, we're using our quads. These are huge muscles in the front of our legs, all right? Secondly, we use our hamstrings and our glutes, our ass, which are, which are two other really big muscles in our lower body. So your lower body is 50% of the muscle mass of your entire body. And that's the thing I see beginners make the biggest mistake on. They neglect their legs, okay? So they're thinking, all right, well, I'm walking around in khakis or blue jeans, I'm in long pants, so nobody can see my legs. So fuck it, I don't, I don't care, all right? That is a huge mistake for lots of reasons. One of which being is the testosterone production that doing legs helps with. And the second thing is, muscle burns calories, right? So this is the biggest muscle group. If we can grow our leg muscles, that means we're just naturally gonna burn more calories. And I don't mean just while we're working out, not just while we're doing squats. You burn calories 24 hours a day. So if, if you have more muscle in your body, like me, I'm burning a ton of calories just sitting at my desk in front of the computer or watching TV or even sleeping at night. So if you can add 10 or 15 pounds of muscle to your body, then your resting metabolism or your metabolic rate will just naturally be higher, which means you're gonna burn more calories throughout the day. And so if you don't eat more, if you just keep your nutrition or your food intake at the same level, but you're burning more calories, guess what? That fat will start burning off. So lots of reasons why we wanna hit our legs. Don't forget your legs. Right. Exercise number four, we're going from our legs back up to our upper body. This time we're gonna focus on our biceps. Now, this is an isolation movement. It's not a big compound movement. It is a really effective way to building your biceps. Now, hammer curls, before I pick up the dumbbells, I just wanna show you a couple different ways of doing curls. So, hammer curls, we're gonna have our palms facing our side, all right? We're gonna grab the dumbbells just like this, and we're gonna bring them up and lower them basically like you had a hammer in your hand, right? If you're hammering a nail. Lots of different ways to do curls. This is probably the, 
easiest, most straightforward way because other ways to do curls is you end up twisting your wrists as you raise and lower the dumbbells. You have overhanded grips, lots of things. A little more complicated, we can do alternating curls side to side. We can do 21s. It gets really, really complex and it gets really intense, all right? But if you're a beginner, I don't want you guys to kill yourself. I don't want you being so sore for the next three days that you never want to work out again. So remember, 15 reps. That's one set. Stop, give yourself about a minute rest, and then do it again. So just two sets of each one of these exercises. I'm going to show you how to do hammer curls. So we're going to do them two-handed or simultaneous, okay? Real straightforward, guys. So all the way up and down. Now guys, the main thing I want you to notice here is the tempo, all right? Look at the speed. I'm not going real, real slow, but you can tell I'm controlling the weight, all right? I'm squeezing the bicep muscle to get it up. I'm not, I'm not jerking, all right? That's a jerk. And this is a swing, all right? So I see guys doing this at the gym, all right? Man, I could do a hundred of these, right? So the goal is that mind-muscle connection again. I want you to just think, man, just envision that bicep flexing, all right? So you're controlling the weight up and then down, and then down. Now remember, this is gonna be targeting the front part of your arm. In just a minute, we're gonna hit our triceps, and I'll explain that, but man, Certain muscles will just burn naturally when you do them the correct way. For me, it's shoulders, okay? I also get a nice burn in my biceps if I'm really focused and I'm controlling that weight and I'm putting a lot of intensity into it. So 15, 15 reps, give yourself a little short rest, do it again, that'll be two sets, and then you can move on to exercise number five. All right, exercise number five is gonna be targeting our back. Now, tons of guys, tons of guys totally neglect their back. Why is that? Because <laughs> you can't see it in the mirror, right? <laughs> you can see your chest, your biceps, all right, but ah, screw it, I can't see the back. We'll ignore it. Well, guess what? Your back is a huge combination of multiple muscle groups, all right? It's another exercise that we're gonna do that's a compound movement which means it's fantastic for our testosterone production. And the other reason you should never neglect your back is if you build a big, muscular, wide back, you're gonna look fantastic in a shirt, all right? So some of you guys are thinking, man, I'm never gonna have my shirt off. Doesn't matter. You have a wide back. When you're wearing a shirt, you're gonna look wide up here. And no matter how much fat you're carrying around your stomach, it's all relative, right? Wide back it's gonna make your stomach look smaller no matter what. That's a fantastic way to basically fool everybody into thinking you got a really small waist. All right, so we're gonna be doing them one arm at a time, okay? And it's a big, strong muscle group, so you'll be able to use a lot more weight than on some of these other exercises. All right, so I take a nice wide stance, all right? So I'm gonna be doing my right arm first, all right? I brace myself on my left knee, okay? And then literally, I'm gonna be staring straight at the ground and I'm gonna be pulling my elbow. I'm not worried about the handle or the dumbbell. My brain is thinking, get that elbow back towards my side, towards your hip. So you're not bringing it up here. You're gonna be rowing it back this way, okay? And having your hand on your left knee will brace your upper body, your back, so your back won't be you know, stressing out and trying to support this weight. So here we go. We'll just bring it straight back, all the way up, and then all the way down. Now notice guys, I'm staring straight down, and I'm not twisting my torso. I see some guys do this. All right, so they, they end up using their entire upper body and twist. We don't wanna do that, okay? So I'm thinking just about getting that elbow back and squeezing all those muscles in my back. And guys, I got, you know, plenty of weight here. If your dumbbells aren't heavy enough to make that feel difficult for you, this is how you do it. You're gonna just pause at the top. So, you bring it up, one, two, three, and then control down. One, two, three, control down. So, remember, you're just increasing the time under tension 
when you hold the weight at the top of the movement and let it down and of course that's just one rep so you got to do 15 reps of that all right you don't need to give yourself a big rest you can just switch over to the other side we're gonna do the left side and if it's not enough weight one two three one two three one two three you can do 15 of those and I promise all right even if it's not a real heavy dumbbell and you hold it at the top you're increasing that time under tension you'll start to feel the fatigue set in and see how I'm breathing hard that's because we're using lots of different muscles it's a compound exercise we're using multiple joints guess what you get out of breath so great exercise for your back you do both arms that's only one set okay after you do both arms, then you can rest for a minute, all right? And then do both arms again before moving on to the sixth and last exercise. Okay, guys, sixth exercise today. The last exercise, we're gonna be targeting our triceps. Now, everybody likes to think of biceps. I gotta do lots of curls, all right? You know, curls for the girls. Well, they don't realize, especially beginners don't realize that your triceps are bigger than your biceps. So when it comes to your arms and what they look like when you're wearing short sleeves or if you're flexing or whatever, your triceps actually are more important for making your arms look big than your biceps, all right? But most people don't realize that, especially beginners, and this is a fantastic exercise for your triceps. Now, you're not gonna be able to do a lot of weight, okay? It's just the nature of this particular exercise, all right? So I'm getting down into position, just like when I was doing chest presses, okay? The very first exercise. I'm gonna get these much lighter dumbbells, okay? Here, I'm gonna come up, and this is my starting position right here, all right? So I'm literally gonna try to keep my elbows as stable and, and, and still as possible, and I'm just gonna let my elbows hinge, and these dumbbells are gonna come down basically to the side of my head here coming down and then up. So at the very bottom, the dumbbell almost touches or it occasionally it can touch, just barely touch your shoulder. So just like every other exercise, guys, look at the tempo. I'm not going real fast, all right? I'm really focusing on resisting the weight all the way up and then I'm resisting it all the way down, okay? So see where I am at the very bottom here, okay? And then remember, I'm not moving my elbows around. You know, this is, you know, guys, I see guys, you know, moving their elbows, okay? So do your best to keep those elbows still in one place and only move. All right, your forearms are gonna be moving. The rest of your arm basically stays in one location. All right, now guys, <laughs> I promise, if you're a beginner, you're probably gonna to use too much weight the very first time you do this, and you're not gonna be able to get 15 good quality reps, okay? That's okay. I've done it myself, too, so experiment with the correct weight, and when I say the correct weight, you're gonna to have to look at all these different exercises, okay? And you're gonna to have to pick up a dumbbell and use really good form and think, was that kind of hard? Was it hard to do 15 reps with good form? So if it was super, super easy, all right, then you either need to use A, more weight, and if you don't have more weight, then you need to do slower tempo, and then remember, hold it at the top of the movement for a one, two, three count, and that will make the weight feel artificially heavier than it really is. So I love this exercise because it, it, you get so much blood going into your triceps that it's gonna make your arms feel really big, okay? And if you're wearing a short sleeve shirt that's kinda of tight when you're doing this, you'll feel the shirt actually get tighter when you do these bicep exercises and the tricep exercises. It's a good feeling. All right, guys, I'm glad you stuck around to the end because I'm gonna tell you the trick that I tell all of my beginners when I'm training them and they have all told me, okay, that this is fantastic and it really motivates them to stick with it, okay? And it gives them far, far greater results. And this is the trick, guys. You're gonna have to take pictures. I want you to document your journey, which means you gotta take 
a before picture, which is the very first picture. It's what you look like now before you really, you know, embark on this journey. So this is the other part of the trick. You got to take these pictures because you're going to be taking them, you know, every few weeks or every few months. You have to take them in the exact same spot with the exact same lighting every single time. So find a place in your house where you can mount the camera or your wife or girlfriend to take the picture, all right? Make sure there's some good lighting, preferably above lighting, okay? And then stick with that location and the same lighting, all right? You take those pictures in the same place and I promise when you look at yourself progress over time, that guys is going to be the fantastic motivation that you need and you're going to be thinking, wow, these things really work. All this stuff Mark's having me do, you know, all this pain and suffering, this sweating, you know, the time that you put into this, it really does pay off. And if you don't take the pictures, you don't remember what you look like. All right, there's nothing to compare to. So three months, six months from now, you're gonna go, oh yeah, you know, I just look like, you know, I always do. No, you look far, far better, but you won't know unless you have pictures that document your progress. And then finally, guys, remember, this isn't going to happen in just a few weeks, right? <laughs> it doesn't happen overnight. You're going to have to stick with this and never give up on yourself.